If you remember this, you're one of the OGs. Today, Adidas has given us another remake of The Mania, and this time, it's closer than ever to being perfect. And okay, it did take them four tries and six years to get there, but to be honest, it's actually been worth the wait, because to complete the Tormentor pack, which takes its inspiration from the Japan Blue Mania in 2002, Adidas simply decided to just also give us the real thing. And unlike Nike, who just slapped old designs on new boots, this is actually more or less the real deal. So the big question is if the Mania remake here can stand its ground in 2020, or if it's just a has-been that's looking for one last dance. Now, I'll tell you about just how good or bad the new Predator Mania is in a bit. But before we let the hammer fall, let me give you a bit of background info on why you should be excited about the new remake if you are a fan of the Mania. Because as I mentioned previously, Adidas have tried before, actually three times, on really bringing the Mania back. The first time was in 2014 with this hybrid touch thing from the Revenge Pack, which by today's standard is bad. Then, they did better in 2017 with another hyper-touch boot from the Champagne Pack, which was considerably better, but still a far cry from the original boot. Now, that was once again fixed, and things got better last year in 2019 with this red pair that actually featured a one-to-one -one upper. But, like I said back then, the stripes are supposed to flow underneath the boot. And for once, it seems someone actually listened, or, well, at least felt the same way. Because on the Japan Blue Mania remake, there is a split tooling with the stripes going under. So thank you, whoever designed the Predator 20 Plus tooling to allow Adidas to slap him on this. Now, apart from that, this is actually more or less the exact same as the Red Remake. So you get the one-to-one -one leather upper with the same stitch pattern. You get the SL rubber fins. You get the leather tongue, but with a slightly stronger rubber strap to make sure that it doesn't snap like it had a tendency to back in the day. And because the stripes are actually allowed to flow under the boot like they're supposed to, it feels like the last piece of the puzzle in making this the perfect Mania remake instead of just simply painting them like the, no. But Jay, why are you so happy about getting a split tooling and the stripes flowing on? I mean, isn't it a, a small detail? And yes, it might be. But the closer we get to making a perfect remake of the original Mania, the better it is for me, especially in this colorway. See, the thing is with the Japan Blue Mania is that if you ask collectors, this is notoriously difficult to get your hands on. It's actually a little bit of a myth. And also, this colorway is just bloody gorgeous. Now, this boot was released as a limited edition for the World Cup in 2002 in South Korea and Japan. And to my knowledge, it was actually only released in those two countries. And because it was so special and came out in so limited numbers, neither Zinedine Zidane nor David Beckham were allowed to wear this. In fact, that honor was reserved for Alex from the Japanese national team. And apparently, it seems their captain, Zuyanasu Miyamoto, as well. But the big question is whether this 18-year-old boot is still good enough in 2020 for you to cop and wear without getting the feeling that it's so chunky you'd rather go completely Flintstones and play barefooted instead. And in my opinion, it actually does a really good job despite being so long since it released. Because sure, it might be a little bit more solid and secure and punchy than today's, should we call them ballerina boots, but if you like that really solid tank-like approach with lots of weight behind the ball when you shoot, you're gonna love it to bits. And just imagine all it took for the 2002 OG Mania to be 2020 ready was a new outsole. And okay, it goes to show how far boot technology has come, but also shows how good of a boot the Mania was even back then. The funny thing is though that back in 2002, this was the king when it came to grip. That title, though, belongs to the Predator 20 Plus now. But this is still pretty good. Fit-wise, I got a perfect and really snug fit by going true to size. So if you want to cruise a little bit, you can go up half a size for more room. 
The leather on the boot is <laughs> seriously soft. And if you go Beckham style with the tongue down, don't expect a ton of lockdown. But on the other hand, that's not what the Predator is about anyway. So is this a better boot than the original Predator Mania? Absolutely. Does it work in 2020? Definitely. But is it a better boot than the Predator 20? I wouldn't necessarily say so, no. But there will be a lot of people out there who will absolutely love it. And I think this is a great way of experiencing one of the most iconic boots ever, but in a slightly more efficient, updated way. And if you want that experience, you can go and cop the boots right over there. Then, of course, you should also let me know what you think in the comment section right down below. Go make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notifications on, and then go learn some very wicked skills in the playlist right over there. With that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.